All you need to do is just determine is it one, tri one, two, or three triangles. So do you guys see this is a side side angle? Right? So it's an ambiguous case. It could be one triangle, no tri or sorry, one triangle, no triangles, or two triangles. So again, for myself, I'm visual. So I'd like to sketch the angle. Yeah, you can grab it and throw it to me. Thank you. So I always just do the exact same triangle every single time. If it works or not, that's just the way I like to draw my triangles. Yeah, it is very annoying. You guys agree? See that? Did everybody see what it did? So now, huh? Are they doing that all day? I don't know. No, they weren't. So now I know that I can solve for my missing angle B by using the law of sines because I have a ratio of A over A over sine or angle A. So as long as I have a ratio of an opposite of a side of a side length and if it's angle, I can do 24 over the sine of 73, and that's going to equal 28 over the sine of 28 degrees. Oh, I'm sorry, sine of B, right? Yes. Sorry. OK, now I solve for B. And again, I'm not going to show all my step by step, because we should be at this point by now. So sine of B is going to equal 28 times the sine of 73 degrees divided by 24. That's using inverse operations. I'll go ahead and find whatever that value is. So I do 28 times the sine of 73 divided by 24. OK, now that gives me 1.115. So to find b, I do the sine inverse of my answer. And my answer is 1.11, right? So when I try to do that, sine inverse of my answer, I get error domain. I can't create a triangle. Error domain. So therefore, this is an example of no triangle exists. There is no possible way for you to create a triangle when you have one side length that's 73 degrees, the other one's 24, and that's 28. So you can't create a triangle with those lengths. So that triangle actually doesn't exist. Okay. So whenever you're trying to do this, and you take the inverse sine of your answer, and it's not between negative 1 and 1, you have no triangle exists. Whenever you do this, and you can figure out b prime, and you can put b prime in the triangle, and they still add up less than 180, then two triangles exist. And like in the last example, b prime didn't exist, so there's only one triangle. Right? The last problem I did, the problem I did the whole problem for, that was a one triangle exists problem.